This is either your first day on the game, or you've been campaigning for him to get an S tier for about a year already. You either have no idea what you're doing, or you have every idea what you're doing. You probably think his buck teeth are cute, or you've never read the lore. That, or you have read the lore, and you really like homewreckers. You thought the goons from Home Alone were hysterical. That, or you desperately want a badge on a character. It's also possible that you actually just like bringing characters that most hunters are unprepared for. You think she's really cute, but probably overestimate your timing on things. A lot. You like mind gaming the hunter, but get easily frustrated when you lose. You probably dread having to interact with the hunter at all. That or you just really like his gimmick. You like playing into the meta. It also probably took you at least a month to figure out how to use his elbow pads. You probably consider quitting matches every time you miss a flare. That said, you also probably have a really nice skin, so at least you look good while doing it. You either think she's pretty, genuinely enjoy playing her, or play her out of spite. Or all three. Probably all three, actually. You're probably a great teammate, but your one major flaw is still wanting more new skins for her. You really bank on balloon rescues and stuns, but sometimes your confidence and reliance on these puts you in bad situations that you can't get out of. That or you got a skin for him that looks nice and have no clue what's going on. You actually hate decoding. You trust in your own predictions a lot, but probably voted for tonight or never, so... You thrive on intimidating the hunter. You think she's really cute and probably get into shipping wars over whose hand she should hold first. You've also probably twirled into the hunter on multiple occasions, but that's fine, it happens to the best of us. You think he looks really cool, and probably bought a really nice skin for him to play as, too, but you always forget to owl anyone other than yourself most of the time. That or you're a complete pro, and you have my respect. You probably like his aesthetic, and ship him with an array of other characters. That said, you're pretty good at your job in-game, so who am I to judge? You probably want to steal his gender, but also forgot how magnets work in real life. You like to make people cry. You probably like feral men with kind hearts. That or you like being able to always surprise the hunter. You enjoy creating chaos on the map, but are normally stuck on decoding duty. You're practically begging to kite. You think that he's really underrated, but secretly don't want more people to play him because you like having him as your ace. You probably aren't even old enough to drink yourself, but you love her a lot, so it doesn't even matter. You really, really want your teammates to ping more often. You've learned the hard way that stay put, I'm coming, is not sacred. Always after you've used a shovel, too. You really want people to stop messing with the transmissions, but also have no earthly idea how to properly use your stun. You probably don't even like bugs, but you'd be willing to change your mind if it was for her. You get frustrated when the hunter doesn't cooperate with you. How does it feel to be a better rescuer than most rescuers? You always feel screwed over in matches because your entire team can't use your items. That said, you love her glider and are super good at supporting your team with the catapults. You like the concept of doctor and barmaid, but want a slightly more remote pick. You really like using your hooks but you really don't like using your hooks when they mess up due to the game's unclear hitboxes. You either got his S tier and felt obligated to play as him, or really enjoy making the hunter want to pull their hair out trying to get you. You either think she's cute, genuinely enjoy playing her, or play her out of spite. Or all three. Probably all three, actually. You like narrowly avoiding hits and balloon rescuing, but you probably don't care for the meta too much. You either still don't have enough to get a new hunter yet, or you are insanely terrifying to go against. You're probably sick of begging for a buff. You rely too much on your hook, but admittedly it always pays off. You either think he's super attractive or super ugly. In either case, you depend on double hits. You think she's adorable, but are super tired of grinding spyglasses for her S tier. You like pretty women. You either don't know your own hitbox, or are scarily familiar with it. And yes, you can do both at once. 
You like confusing new players, but are deathly afraid of pallets for no real reason. You exist? That's incredible in and of itself. Also, I'm probably scared of you. You know that the survivors are bad at dodging, and you take full advantage of it. You like pretty women. You play Identity 5 like a shoot 'em up but with souls instead of bullets. You always forget to look at the map and then realize it's one with lots of buildings a bit too late. You like pretty women. Your favorite thing to do in Identity 5 is camp, and you probably also like Bonbon's vaulting animation. Admittedly, I do too. You are a cat person. You think his humming is pretty, and you also have scarily good aim. You probably can't aim your sculptures in the slightest. The survivors always just walk into them on their own. That said, on a good day, you're terrifying. You hate Sticker and just want a new skin for him. You like incredibly fast paced matches and have insanely quick reflexes. I don't know how you do it. You like pretty women and also probably pretended you were a mermaid at the pool when you were a kid. You genuinely enjoy his mechanics. Or you play him for the less than savory meme. You hate the survivors you're up against almost as much as you hate yourself. <laughs>